Hey everyone, welcome to Archland. We have a guide here for under a nightmare or under the nightmare, depending on your translation. So this is a limited time event. Uh, unfortunately, if you click on the rule, it 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 doesn't translate. So no translation available yet for this one. But we have a translation for the mission in the store. Just uh, read through it. I'm gonna take you through the motions for this one. Um, give you a feel on what to expect and how this game is going to play. Let's uh, let's take a look at the you know the video for this event. It's kind of really a nightmare. Cards and a mysterious character. There you go. So, again, I'll, I'll take you through the details of this, uh, what do you call this, this uh, UI. This one is the stimulant that the game is referring to. This is the currency for the store. You have the glossary here, which is roughly a inventory of things that you want to reference to. Um, just in case you want to know what that is. And also, we have the shop. As you remember here, uh, this is the stimulant that I mentioned. The best items actually to go for are, you know, obviously keys to heaven, divine protection, the illusion do helmet, uh, and armor, and core accessory are good. Um, also, this one, the soul stone of uh, creation, and the random SSR run for star. This is actually one of the best things that you should get. Because these are rare. Um, this is a four star already. So again, um, might as well you know save up for this one. And the rest is probably your second level um, items. So up to here, up to this part is the are the best items to get. These um, eight are you should be. These are your sought sought after and must get items for the shop. And let's go back. You have your missions here, so as you clear a mission, you get um, you get these uh, prizes here. And this one is the trade. So as you play along, you'll be getting this currency, the feather currency, and you can spend them here in your trades. So as you open a level, like for example this one, um, I need 20 to take that to level 3. But um, on, on the second um, tier here, this is your first tier. This is your second tier. So your second tier also has other characteristics that you should be able to understand. At this point, I'm I'm, I'm not sure yet what to get. Uh, I'm still having a feel for the game. What I would say is um, get the traits that um, you wish to use and just use your best judgment. There's I don't think there's a right or wrong here. It's more on what do you think is going to be uh what do you call this going to be applicable to you at that point okay so let us go back so that is the four and you enter here on your dreams you have four levels here as a um, total of four difficulty levels as you go down a difficulty level so it's going to be <laughs> This is going to be easy level. This is going to be normal level. Um, as you go through, uh, go down, the um, it gets harder. So 10% increase in enemy properties. That is going to be stats. 20% reduction in all healing capacity. Again, it gets harder for you. So I would suggest, what I would suggest is start off with the easy. Um, as you confirm this one. I already was able to finish uh, the first part, uh, this one, Protecting Beginners. So I would suggest that you open easy all the way because th there aren't, you know, there aren't, uh, what do you call this? There, there, aren't, there is no limit to uh, when you play this. So basically you can play this. Um, I, do, I don't think there's an energy system for this one. Apart from this, because you earn this in the early stages and you use this this going into clearing a couple of stages. So, 
Again, if you go down, oops, um, was a bit uh, hasty there. So as you go down, um, if you open the stages, it's the same as easy. So one, two, but the difficulty, of course, is going to be increased and I think the rewards will be increased. So I would suggest clearing all easy stages first, then progressing downwards. Again, there, uh, I don't see that there's an energy um, component to this. So let's uh, try easy here. Let's go to the second stage and i um, going to take you through hero selection. So this one, the first one, you'll be starting off with uh, the first part. Uh, you were only given three heroes. So it was Jin, it was... Um, uh, what do you call this? It was Marguerite and this girl. So you can th th these are the ones that are available to you at that point. So Clafare. So for the first stage, as you as you go through, uh, a lot of heroes will be unlocked for you guys as well. So I uh, just want to confirm this. If you want to switch a skill, you can actually switch skills. And customize your hero. So even if the hero, if even if the hero heroes that are appearing you don't have, you can still use them. So once you're good with the customization and the heroes that you're gonna bring, you just you can just confirm. So let's go back and um, let's go still go to easy. So those three characters are the first ones. Once you unlock the first, you will unlock a lot of uh, characters or heroes more. So I'm going to go to the second one. So we don't have any relics yet. And this one is is kind of a buff. So early acquisition of two additional warriors or tanker artifacts. 10% increase in all warrior and tanker capabilities. So there are there will be instances that you'll be acquiring artifacts. You'll be acquiring additional heroes through your quests. So for this one, I'm going to be taking... Let's do a sample uh, run for this. So going to get Charlotte and a tanker plus i'm going to get clafare so just want to confirm this i'm gonna switch skills i'm gonna go with skills that i'm used to so i'm gonna go with this one oops switch skill I'm gonna add this this one okay so there you go. So I'm going to use these skills for for Gabriel, for Gabby. Unload and I'm going to use this. Okay. And, oops. This one is... Okay. Confirm. Why isn't it changing? Okay, so sorry. Got to unload equip. Confirm. And this one. Okay, so for this one, switch skills. Not using this. Probably use this one. Again, it's too tricky. <laughs> have to equip. Okay, so once you've customized everything, you can confirm. Let's do this round for this round. There are seven rounds in all. So as you can see, th this is first round. Then you have three. Uh, you have two relics available. So warrior character, 15% uh, recovery of each of his HP after battle in the event of an active attack. And this one is going to be increased in, um, in immunity from tanker characteristic damage okay so these are your artifacts these are this is another effect i don't know how to quant to to call this but these are your active effects you have two relics in play uh let's try this out so do battle just uh move forward and let's see how this is going to go um, the levels, don't worry about the character levels. All you have to do is worry about, um, worry about what team you're going to be putting, what skills are they going to be using, 
are they going to be complementing each other so more or less that is your only worry for this one so for now let's do do this one so far the stages are easy um again this is this is in the easy uh category so i just want to open all of uh, all of uh, what do you call this all of the things we need to open all the stages before we go down to normal so uh, again feel free to complete easy before going to normal i don't think um there's an energy limit let's just finish this stage and let's see what we got to move forward at least i'll give you guys a sample on how this is going to be this is going to play out okay so so far we're doing good as you see now it's it's kind of easy no no real resistance or challenge at this point but eventually you will be experiencing um challenges as you go further down below so let us uh there you go so two more enemies to go so i'm not sure why i brought a defender or a tank but uh so far i'm not really complaining i'm actually cruising here okay so that is it so items acquired this one this courtesy the token of fate you'll be using it to to select where you're gonna be going to there are some stages in which you have to decide whether you you will be you know will be attacking that or doing other things so we're at two right now so if we go forward it's just oh there's also selection here um it's more or less a story a random event has happened so it goes down deep into the cave team hp 30 one uh, uh one one random sr artifact and for this one is hp minus 10 percent i would usually go with a 30 because again you have a healer in place so a random sr would be good so this is another buff as you can see damage unity fixed damage once hp chance of fatal blow okay triangle uh strengthenable not really a word that i would see let's go with damage immunity here and as you can see here there is a skip function you saw that right there's a skip function um and we go to the third phase the third phase is the battle itself the second phase was a buff because you chose to to get a sssr card with them having less 30 percent hp as you can see here they, they have less hp now so we're gonna be going over this one so again you need that you need to play to get those currencies to be able to decide whether you're gonna skip um you're gonna go each way so let's just finish this um it's gonna heal first as you can see the 30 percent um less hp is not really a factor you can do you can do a heal so you can do a heal and you know the what do you call this the the buff is permanent but hp um the hp recovery you can do that anytime especially if you have a healer in your roster so so far i'm liking this build because darkness is going to be not a match for light so there you go so we'll just we'll just finish this and uh, take a look at the others there
that th those those poker chips by the way are um what they call this are going to be your currency um in deciding which way you're gonna go and what are you deciding on okay so so far we have last one So this is going to be the last and there you go. So counter attack finished him off. So we'll be earning additional poker chips here. Call it poker chips. It looks like poker chips. So additional poker chips because you'll be paying that. Here's the buff. Here's the buff that we earned. And uh, if you go inside again, so this stage is going to be a selection between if you defeat this stage, you're you'll you you're getting actually a, a an ally that can join your team. So for this one, if I choose this one, so if you want to skip it, if you want to refresh, it's 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 actually okay, but it would consume 50. So if you want to choose, you can get 25. This is where I told you guys that you need your poker chips. You can actually skip it. Uh, but again, um, giving yourself an additional ally to deploy is also nice. So we're going to do this. Um, I chose this one before. Let's choose this one again. So choose. So you're at level five already. And this next one is the battle. So that's it more or less. So every stage there is a battle alternate alternating in the middle of it is a decision whether you will add buffs, you'll add allies. And so far that is it, guys. I will just um, put this out. You can actually continue this anytime. And you can actually give up and move to another stage if you want. So that is how you play it. Um, this one is going to be your token of faith, your poker chips of faith. When you move through the stages, once you enter the battle. And as you go to the shop, you haven't earned any more um, uh, stimulants yet because we haven't cleared that stage. So... As you clear everything here, that is when you will earn stimulants. So, again, this is more or less your team level as well. So, your team level is also rising as you play along. So, and also you have another member here of your team that has joined. So, that is it, guys. I won't, I won't go much into the details. Just enjoy this game. I don't think there's an energy system except for the poker chips here. Uh, to go through and make some decisions, but you can play this game as far as you can. I'm gonna go through um, you know, some of the stages and probably have an, have an update within the next few days on how far I've gone for Under a Nightmare. And that is it, guys. Hope you have fun with the stage. This is something unique, and this is what I like because it doesn't it doesn't consume energy and it gives you additional rewards in the end. So thank you very much, guys, for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.